Right, so now we're going to create a new DVD. We'll jump to aspect ratio, which is 16 by 9. For widescreen TVs, we'll press OK. And we'll change the caption to trick, like so. We'll select a theme, press OK. Okay, so now we have uh, two menu options. This is our main menu, and then we can either uh, press play all or select title which will then go to this menu option and now we've got four different videos we can um, add or we can add more. So now what we'll do is we'll jump to DVD, add, file, then we'll go to Euro Trip December 2018. And now this is actually asking us if we want to change the NTSC format and we will change this and um, that's how Windows Media Player, uh, sorry, Windows Movie Maker has set the default format too. So we'll go yes. And now we've actually added in the, men the video to the menu. And by default it will actually add it to the first menu slot so it means since we're only adding, adding one um one video we can actually delete these other boxes so now we'll get rid of these three so right right click and press delete and i'll put this in more of the center like so okay so now that we've done that we've changed the menu actually i'll put it now we've got our two different menu options, two menus, two menu screens, and then we have our video. So the two menu screens that we have is menu option one. This is the first screen that we see. So we've got the uh, DVD title here, which is, and then we've got an option to play all, which is just one video. Or you can select title, and when you press select title, it will take you directly to this DVD menu, option number two, which is where you can select this video and then it will play the video through. So now that we've done that, we'll go to File and we'll save as, and we'll save this um, as a template. Now we'll save it as Euro, Euro Trip December. And now we go to that little red button up here where it says burn. We click on that. We leave the temp directory, uh, directory the same to C semicolon forward slash users, your username, app data, local, and then temp. We leave the preview unchecked. Just generate unchecked. Create ISO image unchecked. And we'll keep burn as is format dvd-w so that's format dvd rewritable we leave that unchecked uh, what that means is or what if you had other files on that disk before it will wipe everything off that disk and then the device that's where you're saving it to is e and then DVD, cd DVD, dvd rewritable and we'll set the speed to auto now that we've done that we press start so yeah, so now we know how to do it, so I'll press cancel. And that's all you have to do.